Hi guys. Hey everyone. Welcome to Make 2 and welcome for Mr. Pinchy as well and another episode of our Let's Play the Searchers in Minecraft on the PC. You can hear a skeleton and you can see a zombie over there because there was a massive storm last night. So even though we were protected in here, a whole bunch of nasty things spawned and they haven't all died yet. We're going to venture outside but before that I wanted to go right back down into our mine which is now just about finished. I had a few comments saying, why have you not finished the mine? You're going to... <laughs> You're going to finish off the mine and it took a little bit of time, but I have done it. The last time we were here, the big decision was, where do we put the lava? There was a massive lava pool over there. And I think you said you wanted a lava river. And I said, <laughs> maybe lava coming from the ceilings or maybe that was from a comment. Um, I can't remember. We had a few votes for each. So I thought, hey, why not do both? And, so, I, and I did say a bridge over the lava river, which it looks like you've done three bridges. I, I did bridges. three because wow. you've got the big bridge here. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not massive. And I've done a little small bridge over there. So it's very easy to get over safely mm -hmm. from the lava. Basically, I had to put for every blob here, I had to get a bucket, fill it with lava, and then place the lava down every single block. So it's like a fake lava river rather yeah, than Yeah, because lava only flows, I think, maybe four or five blocks. Water flows eight, but lava, not so many. And then I got blocks up here, made a hole in the wall, and, you know, like, getting rid of, say, one of these blocks, and then a block there in the floor straight above it. So when the lava flows down, it flows one below the floor, and so it doesn't spill out over the floor. So you get this very cool mm -hmm. lava waterfall effect but you mm -hmm. don't get all the lava over here mm -hmm. and it's also a really nice light source so yep. it kind of you don't need so many torches around it all looks very beautiful and very dangerous yeah it is pretty dangerous how uh, many times have you accidentally tried to cross the lava river only once and <laughs> but you can say also the lava river kind of flows a little bit yeah it's a little bit higgledy piggledy just to give it yeah. some shape as if it's a slightly natural river and it flows into these things here. So we've got all these finished. The back wall, I should have relatively simple design in the end. I don't think you've seen this when I was last building the bridges, but just thought something that is reminiscent of what we've got going on over here and here, but a little bit different too. I like it. It all looks great. <laughs> yeah. So I think the space now feels complete. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole rest of the thing is just plain stone everywhere, which I had to take some time over, but I think it looks pretty good. So this is our own custom mine. The main room over here is looks looking good from this and side. And this is <laughs> naturally flowing lava here. Yeah, this is all naturally flowing, flowing lava that actually spills out. You know, went into that big chasm we explored a few episodes back that was actually over this way. Yeah. yeah, do you remember that? That is, if you go back to the episode, you'll see there's a whole bunch of water and then beyond that, a whole bunch of lava. This is some of that lava, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So yeah, we now have our main massive mine entrance complete. We've got more mining to do. <laughs> this room is a little bit utilitarian still, but I think this is looking very grand indeed. I mm -hmm. like this archway in particular. I don't know why. It was the last thing I did, and I didn't plan it out at all, and I think it turned out pretty well. Normally I try and plan out quite a lot of the builds, but this bit, a little bit less for the for the bridges and the archway here. It but feels, very, with it. feels very Lord of the Rings inspired. Yeah, a little bit like... Um, oh, that's a nice noise. Uh, a little bit kind of dwarven, perhaps. I need to change these two blocks, but I'm a bit nervous of going back there because <laughs> of the lava well i did these stair things here after i would put the lava and i went so carefully and slowly because like i'm gonna burn i'm gonna burn i'm gonna burn but i didn't so this is our mine room now complete i hope you guys like it it's definitely very grand it's a massive underground space and yeah i think it's gonna be good to come down down here and do some strip mining or branch mining to try and get some more resources but we're doing pretty well for resources at the moment. Have quite a bit of iron and quite a bit of lapis lazuli. So we can do some more enchanting of stuff. But now that we've started to venture down to the nether, we have a few blaze rods. We've killed a couple of blazes in the last episode. I'm thinking about whether to start doing potion making, which seems even more complicated than enchanting. But I think will really help us, certainly for surviving in the nether. But today, we're not going back to the nether. We're going back to our hidden mine that we found in that huge chasm nearby us. So we're going to skirt by the nether portal here and go to our, our tree, which is our waypoint for going down into that abandoned mine. Uh, you did suggest last time that maybe I should put waypoints and posts down and things like that to mark out how yeah. we were doing. It wasn't my suggestion originally, it was from a commenter, but okay. I think it's a good idea, it especially 
because as you saw when we were exploring the nether in the last episode, it's just really easy to get lost and it's just a good idea generally to have signals and signposts telling you where you are. Yeah, I agree. It makes a lot of sense. So I've done a little bit of that now, but I have not explored all of it by any means. Turns out it's on three different levels. Mm. I haven't really gone this way or that way. <laughs> uh, last time I was here, there were like three skeletons just down there chilling. Uh-huh. Uh, but I left them to it. So I've cleared it out. And what I've tried to do is use fence posts as way markers for like the main route. Okay. So if you see a fence post on the left, yeah. it means if you want to come out, see a fence post on your right and you'll be directed immediately back. Okay. But for ones that are dead ends, as you saw, my, I don't know if, well, lots of other people do it. Uh, I particularly thought it works for me here. If you put three of these, and this means this is a dead end, dead end. So all of this down here has been explored. There's nothing else going on there. And the same for here. The only thing that is going on is if you were to take away these things down here, there's actually a whole nother level to the mine. So there's this level, there's a level below, and I'm pretty sure there's a level above. So all this area here I've explored a little bit of but not completely. You see, I've taken off, this would be one of those things like that with three blocks and then the fence post on either side. Mm -hmm. So I've kind of carved all of that to keep the wood. Put a sign up. I think that was your suggestion. Put signs up. So we've got our spider spawner down here. And I've done some exploring wow. down there, but not fully. It all looks very organized. Yeah. So here's our spawner. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't go to anything. Look down here. These are some stairs, mm -hmm. like proper mine stairs, mm -hmm. but it just goes to lava. Sure. Weird. So obviously whoever built this mine, I don't know who built this mine. I'm really curious <laughs> to know, but whoever built it long, long time ago, you know. Discovered lava as they were building maybe and then decided it wasn't worth it to. Yeah, exactly. So here, we haven't been up there yet, but this is the, like yeah, this is the level. upper level. Yeah. So who, I've just put a torch there to, you know, just to try and ward things off. Now I have explored this way a little bit, but I kind of did a whole bunch of running. Look at this. Ooh. Not going dark. down, not going down there These for a mushrooms. while. mushrooms. Those are mushrooms, and, and that is iron, and that is iron. Oh, that's the upper level right there that we saw before. Okay. Now, this way... Okay, so I've explored that way. I have not explored this way. Oh, so this is maybe how one were to get up to... The other level. Yeah, the other level. We need one more block. We've got some... But it seems like, like I said, it's sort of a split level in that it's not completely above your head it's more yeah it's yeah it's like a one like a mezzanine a one and a half level mm -hmm. so we have this we can go up we got some coal here which is always nice to get now i do remember seeing and then i was like running away because there are a couple of nasty things i remember seeing a chest and i don't know where it is so if you see a chest anywhere mm -hmm. let, oh so this i think all of this above us is going to be i think that's this level above mm -hmm. but i'm on the lookout for a Wait, chest what's that in front of you that that's this is where we came from that was no like directly in front oh it's right there yeah that's easy <laughs> <laughs> i was like it could be absolutely what's anywhere. it sitting on it's sitting on a minecart okay, so got some got bread it. that's good and some more coal mm -hmm. and now we can collect that and collect that oh that's cool okay so this little area has been done so let's we don't really need to do it because it's not very much. And then it's let's... always helpful so that you don't waste your time, you know, walking into a dead end. That's true. And just so I know, oh, I don't need to look down there. There's no potential for nasties to be there. Yeah. You should leave that torch though, right? So that I guess, yeah, just to stop spawn. anything spawning. Yeah. I like getting rid of these just so it looks neat. <laughs> neat because, of course, I'm going to come down here to play. I don't, I don't know if I'm ever going to come down here to play. but So we've got stuff up there we haven't gone to. We just laid down some torches here. Oh, this is... Hmm, you've so this been is all, around. This is all new, though. So I haven't been here. You have oh, been, because there's a torch. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been down here. There Let's go. go down here. Alrighty. So I'm just going quick. I'm not doing my whole big exploring -y thing. You keep your ears peeled for... Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry, I am super sensitive to spooky noises. Ooh. See, why I did like clearing out the wooden blocks mm -hmm. is... Let's see you if can I... can see more Exactly, yeah, it's actually here. really hard to see what's going <gasps> Ooh, on. See, so I could have like... walked in there and just like suddenly been... Mm -hmm. Oh, it's night time. Should we go back up to our... No, why? It doesn't make a difference whether it's night time down true. here versus... 
It's true, we are inside. Okay, so let's pick a direction, shall we? Oh my goodness, getting spooky. <gasps> There's something. Creeper. It's a creeper, it's a creeper. And lava. Oh no, sir. What happened? It exploded. Yeah, so? There's what? another one. <laughs> I mean, he's blasting things away. I know, they're you, very you sensitive. Know? Yeah, but then that means I can't collect them myself, you see. But you have your monster spawner at home for that. That is your true. Well, fall. no, it means it blows away this stuff. So, they, like, if there was an iron ore there. There's plenty of iron ore. I know. Which, but, you know, yeah. let's just put that in. I like having a neat surface to walk on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So that lava down at the end, is that the same lava, I think? Maybe I don't know. Something. Let's, well, we're going to go and clear this little section now. I think we're going to have to get rid of this block here. And that block there, so we can now walk. Oh, there's tons of iron here. Yeah. This is very nice. Okay, so we're now all lit up. Okay. And, and it's now, basically, yeah. now it's collecting time. <laughs> Is there ever any danger of there being gravel in a mine and then you getting like, um, yeah. you know, you can actually smothered. suffocate. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. But you, you know what gravel looks like, yeah. so you can always tell. Yeah. So yeah, I, it's happened to me before. <laughs> well, for instance, if you're digging directly above, say you see iron directly above and you dig it and then right above that is gravel. Like, is there a danger of... Yes, that you happened. should never dig straight above you. There could okay. be gravel, it. and it could be like a massive 50 foot, 50 block high thing of gravel. Mm -hmm. There could be gravel above here. Mm -hmm. So you basically don't want to touch it. Mm -hmm. uh, you always want to be, you know, if you want to dig the ceiling, don't do that spot, do right. at least that spot. Right, got which it. Which is what I try to do. Got it. So let's do, let's just clear this out while we're here. Oh, get some more stuff here so well, given this is all a dead end now i'm going to take away all the posts because mm -hmm. we're not going to come back down here and let's collect some more iron gosh it goes down and down yeah oh tons of iron this is good and we found gold last week in that chest in the nether which was pretty nice one more for us cool okay and then a little bit of coal It's like a ghost train noise. I know. Maybe that is the ghosts of the people who used to live and work down here. <laughs> Poor little fellas. I don't know why I do this. I just like covering yeah. it up so it's all neat and tidy. Sure. Ooh, while we're being neat and tidy, let's get ourselves some of this string. Oops. <laughs> Couldn't get that one. Okay, now we've got... I, I need to know what to do with these rails. I think somebody suggested that we build a railway to the village across the water. I mean, I was one of the suggestors for that. Yeah. I think that would be cool, especially if you had a rail cart, you know, then you could just easily take it straight across. Okay, so the question is, how fancy do I do the bridge? <laughs> That's up to you, isn't it? It is up to me. It would be nice to do a fancy bridge, but given it's got to be pretty low-lying, it might just be a simple bridge. The advantage of that too, now here's a, a trick I found for some videos online, is that if you have a minecart, you can actually push a villager into it. Oh. And a villager gets pushed into a minecart, you can then move them around. So, so you kidnap a villager? Basically, I could kidnap a villager. Cool. And what would you do with a um, villager? So I don't... Whoa, with a villager, if you get a village farmer, then you can... You know, I've got that semi-automated farm I've made for doing my yes. farming. Yeah. If you have a villager who's also a farmer for his day job, then you can actually make him just... he will. If you put him into a space where there's farming, he will just automatically farm. Like if there's stuff to farm, he or she, whatever it, will farm it. So, but then how do you keep the villager on your land farming for you? So you need to bring him in the minecart to exactly the right spot, plop him down where you want him to live, mm -hmm. and then basically keep him captured behind, say, a wall of glass. Oh, gosh. Or I don't even know fences because he knows how to use fences. So it's all so cruel. Exactly. So I, oh, we've got another pickaxe, but let's put a little torch down. I don't know if we need all of this. Let's just get a little bit. To finish off this little area. So I don't know if I want to do that. If you would like me to try and make an automated people, an automated farm using a real person who's a villager, let me know. You're blocking I... your torch in. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's okay. I think um, it would be kind of cool, and, you know, maybe you're a little lonely. Is there something down that tunnel? There's, there's, there's suddenly... a zombie or a witch. Oh, really? Something. Okay, do you think it can see me right now? I don't know. He did light three torches right there. <laughs> so much iron and stuff. Isn't there something green, or maybe it's just light? I can't tell. Could be light. I definitely hear a zombie. Oh. Um, a skeleton. What are they called? Skeleton. Okay, let's get rid of maybe this. Maybe it's just light. Oh, oh, maybe it's down there as well. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just light at the end of the tunnel. Huh. Hmm. Okay, we are doing really well. So yeah, I think we've probably, because this stuff takes up so much iron, <laughs> I think we're actually doing really well in the iron, in the rail stakes now. So we probably do have almost enough to build yeah, that bridge, bridge going all the way across. I mean, I think there's probably better things I could do for that are more productive with a rail system, but I don't really know. So I may as well try and build a bridge, a quick way of getting to the village. I think it would be cool. Yeah, just for something. Um, I, what was I saying before about a villager? I, I mean, I think your farm is getting a little lonely. Oh, yeah. You know, it might be nice to have, even if it's a captive farmer, you know, just another human face around. Yeah, that could be nice. Mr. Pinchy, you're saying Mr. Pinchy isn't sufficient Mr. by Pinchy's himself. Mr. Pinchy's a little creepy. Aww. <laughs> Friendly, but there ooh, you go. that's the green I was that's saying. That's the green. Yeah, I didn't know what that was. Sorry. Okay. Well, I think um, I vote for it just for... It could be funny also just to have a captive villager. Ooh, what's all this? Okay, there's... Tons of spider webs. Ooh. Tons of stuff going on over here. Ooh. <laughs> So we have not fully explored this area. Do you want to go up a little bit? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's get out. Let's get rid of some of this. I don't want to get caught in the spider web. Can you get caught in spider web? Yeah, they make you move super slow. Oh. Yeah, that's why they're not, you know, you've got to be very careful with oh. them. So let's clear out a little space here. Okay, that's proper mines. That's proper underground, down forever type of stuff. <laughs> Oof. Getting dark. Um, Remember when we used to be so afraid of I've going into one more to <laughs> dark spaces like that? Run away. Well, we're still Run afraid, away. but at least, you're, at least you're willing to do it. I know. Back in the me. day, we, you know, couldn't, like, even conceive of the idea I of I know, we did it, and then we're like, <laughs> Yeah, we're getting better. I think I've got better with the controls. I've lost my way to get back. <laughs> I Okay, I've got. I can make more more sticks, I guess. But I think we're probably doing pretty well exploring. Um, there's obviously a lot more down here to go. Oops, let's go rid of all of that. Let's make some more torches. You can never have too many torches. Okay. What wanna... can you do with that tuft of grass? Uh, it might, if you hack at it, give you some seeds. Oh. That one didn't. <laughs> I swear this disappeared before. This one. Okay, so let's go back and see what's down there, shall we? Because <laughs> I'm a glutton for punishment. Well, we haven't died in a while. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think you're going to remember how to get back here? Me? Yeah. I know nothing. <laughs> I just think it's funny. There's gold here. Yeah, there you go. Oh, so steep. Yeah. Wow. Does that mean monsters can hop on you from above? Yep, I guess <laughs> so. Oh, I hear something. Zombie? Yeah, that's a zombie. Okay. Uh. Okay, well, I think I'm going to get the gold. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to head home. Okay. Because I actually don't know where I am. <laughs> Gold, gold, gold. Have you made anything with gold yet? Uh, yeah, the compass. Oh, the... right. Sure. But anything else? No. <laughs> you can make... I've got some gold armor. So there's a whole bunch of iron here. I think we're going to have to come back here. Because there's iron, there's all sorts. But for right now, I think we need to go back. You can... Oh, I think there are... There is some stuff that is useful that you can make out of gold, but I can't remember what it is. Uh, oh, right. You can make things like golden apples. Sure, that's for health, right? Uh, that's for health and also for, uh, I think, like, doing things, like, maybe breeding horses and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
so it can be useful for all of that. So actually we haven't seen that many creepy things. Have we killed anything? Uh, creepers. Oh yeah, the t well we didn't, they killed themselves. Sure. Poor little guys. <laughs> okay, so, oh, we missed an iron up there. Oh, I hear something else. Oh, what was this way? Oh, that was all done, so let's mark that path off as well. So we have not yet explored all of this area. <gasps> oh, jeez! <laughs> <laughs> I think that was more right just like, yeah. Oh, he died. Okay, so, oh, there's a skeleton. Let's get the skeleton. Come on, let's end on a high. <laughs> oh, seeing skeleton bones just makes me wish for a wolf. <laughs> yeah. Still haven't found any. I so feel those you. things must have like sensed you exploring in there and then came out after you. Yeah. That's probably right, but now, how do we get out of here? <laughs> how, we follow the light, but these are now on the... Okay. Uh, there you go. There you go. Oh, Good system. I literally have no idea where we are, but I'm now just following the torches yep. on the right. So we must have passed our spawner. <laughs> the system works. Mm -hmm. I'm very impressed. Mm -hmm. I think if we weren't exploring more in that big cave at the end, because it's so random it, this would n i'd be a bit confused but for this exploring tunnels and stuff the straight it's gone pretty well yeah it's daytime and i think it's time to head up to the surface so i hope you guys have enjoyed our further exploration of our mine i think it's coming on pretty well got a lot of resources and i think we've agreed if you guys don't have any problems with it we're going to try and build a bridge across to the village to fast track our way over there to maybe get some trading with them going a bit more strongly than we've done now yeah we haven't visited the village on screen in a while huh? no no i think i'd like to i don't know if for the next episode i can have that bridge built because i've got a lot of building projects on the go right now <laughs> but we at the very least can go over there say hi and do a little bit more trading with them and kidnap a villager to make him our slave that's going to take a while it's also going to involve me possibly completely redoing my lovely semi-automatic farm or you can find you can make another farm for just the just villager. for him yeah 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 uh i guess i could trap a villager and make him my friend and he'd still like me <laughs> if any of you watch our sims 4 let's play series with the neesons i'd feel a little bit like jasmine capturing somebody and then thinking hey they're my friend because i've kidnapped them you did make jasmine so it came from <laughs> you somewhere yeah like father like daughter <laughs> okay guys i hope you've enjoyed this episode let us know what you think in the comments below if you haven't done so already please feel free to subscribe because there's plenty more minecraft on the way thanks for watching